Hello traders, the title of the video is how to take RSI indicator trading to the highest level like a pro. Do you want to take your RSI indicator trading to the highest levels like a pro? Do you want to polish your RSI indicator trading like a pro? All right. So that is something that you need to know and apply if you want to take your RSI trading uh, to the highest level like a pro. The RSI indicator is uh, the relative strength index indicator is a momentum oscillator. Like all momentum oscillator, the RSI is overbought if it reaches the level of 70 level and is overthrown when it reaches the level of over. Uh, level of 30 level is oversold when you reach the level of overshow of uh, 30 level all right the rsi is oversold when it reaches the level of 30 level but there is something that you must know about the rsi oscillator or about the momentum oscillator to take your rsi trading to the next level all right so recently i have recorded uh, two essential uh, videos about mastering the relative strength index momentum trading like a pro part one and part two if you have not watched those two videos about mastering the relative strength index momentum trading like a pro part one and part two i recommend to you to watch them all so you may understand more about the other side uh, the relative strength index momentum uh, trading like a pro what I has been talking about in those video is about the momentum of the RSI itself. So it's about the momentum of the momentum oscillator. All right. So in our video, we see to trade when the RSI break below its own bullish trend line after a rise. We must wait for the price to confirm it with a bearish signal, a bearish chart pattern by forming equal low or by forming a bearish chart pattern. So I have on my chart here a bullish trend line for the RSI period 14. I'm on a monthly chart. Though I'm on a monthly chart, we can apply this strategy on any time frame. So the RSI was rising, now it break below it's bullish a trend line this is indicating to us that the momentum of the rsi itself is diminishing that indicator has a high chance to pull back not the price but if the the momentum of the rsi is uh, about to decline we will wait for confirmation meaning that the price must exhibit a bearish pattern or equal low a bearish pattern or a lower high all right but something else that the, the, the RSI is doing all the time that a lot of traders are missing out is that the indicator after going up sometimes you'll see you'll go from the oversold and go all the way to the overbought zone. So you see here. So from the level of 22, I hope you can see on my chart, from the level of 20, uh, in the zone of 22, 24, all right, where my cursor is, it start going up. Okay, the RSI start rising, 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 and it went to the overbought zone. It went up to 96. So from the oversold to overbought, it was going up, and it stays above that the green trend line. All right, because the RSI cannot go up forever, so it can't go uh, to 200, to 300 or 400 level. It has to reset itself. All momentum oscillator cannot go up forever. Even MACD will go up, go up, go up. But at one point, the oscillator has to reset itself. That phenomenon doesn't always mean, does not always mean that the price will come down. So you need to watch those two videos about the mastering, all right? The relative strength in this uh, indicator, momentum uh, trading, part one, part two. Once you have finished to watch those video, because in those videos I was telling you that when the RSI break below its bullish trend line, one must wait for confirmation. But sometimes you may not see any confirmation at all. You will instead notice that the RSI 
will instead reset itself, which means after the RSI break below its bullish trend line, okay, the price will not go down significantly, but instead will consolidate or will slow down. This is what has happened here. If you look carefully here, the RSI break below its bullish trend line, you see, it went down a bit though. You can see it even on the monthly chart, so you see here, you can see. But on the monthly chart, this is just a consolidation in an expanding triangle. Okay, went down, but not significantly. Okay, see here, after it break below that bullish trend line, first we have equal high. Am I talking to myself about this high? And this one here, I went down a bit. And then went up to display a new higher high. This move up is betraying what is going to happen. <laughs> this move up. So, so for me, equal high, you want to display a higher high. Again, people showed it because the RSI break below its bullish trend line and this common set line is kaput. So you so professional RSI trader or somebody who wants to trade the RSI like a pro. In all cases, you will be using what a top-down trading method, a different time frame trading method, a multiple time frame trading method, yes or no. So the point I'm making here, which will help you to propel your RSI trading to the highest level, is that there is a third phenomenon relating to the RSI momentum. We are talking about the momentum of the momentum oscillator. Watch those two videos and now add this one to it and understand that sometime after the RSI break below its bullish trend line or above its bullish trend line, on the other hand, above break below its bullish trend line or above its bearish trend line for the second part of the, the, those two videos, sometimes the price will not go down or up significantly. All right? It will instead consolidate while the, the RSI is resetting itself. What usually takes place, the RSI will break below its own bullish trend line, as it is here, will try to go down a bit before start going up again. <laughs> so the RSI pull back only to reset itself before going up again. MACD can do exactly the same thing. The stochastic can also do the same thing. You will see sometimes the, the stochastic will be overboard, stay overboard, and then will pull back a bit, but the price will not follow the, the, the stochastic. The, air, the stochastic will pull back, but the price will not come down significantly. All right? On the time frame that you are at. All right? So this move here, which is a consolidation in a triangle, is a pullback that is not significant. Normally, when the RSI pull back below, break below its bearish trend line, it's indicating to us that the price has a high chance to come down. But here, it did not come down significantly as we were expecting in a normal, okay, a bearish scenario. But instead, look here, in this session here, it's about the momentum of the momentum oscillator. We are using the trailer for RSI. We are talking about the momentum of the momentum oscillator. Break below. You see here, same scenario. But the price was consolidating. It's only here that it went down significantly. But as it break below its bullish trend line here, it's just a consolidation. It's just resetting itself. So sometimes the RSI will do exactly that. Break below its bullish trend line in an up move. And then the consolidation, resetting itself, and then the momentum will start going up again because the RSI cannot go up forever to the infinity. It has to pull back. As it's pulling back, people think that the price will also follow suit. But when the RSI is resetting itself, the price will instead consolidate a while the, ind the indicator is resetting itself. Now the RSI will start going up again, and then the price will follow suit breaking above the consolidation session. This is what has, has happened right here. This one thing you need to understand about the RSI, if you want to bring your RSI trading, push it to the highest level. For new traders, this may be a bit uh, complex subject to discuss, but take it in, swallow it gently, so to speak, 
give it a time to digest <laughs> all right think of it play with it use a demo account practice practice until you master it very very important aspect to all a uh, momentum oscillator they do not go out forever at one point they will reset uh, themselves sometimes the opposite is also true when the rsi will be going down in probably going down so rsi is going down going down it will not go down forever at one point it will reset itself so the rsi will break above its bearish trend line people will think that the price will go up the price will not go up okay so there was a downtrend price price going down okay price going down rsi also going down but the RSI cannot go down forever. At one point, the RSI will restart itself by rallying up a bit. People will think that, okay, it's a bear, it's a bullish divergence, but it's not. As the RSI is rallying up a bit after a down move, the price will be consolidating or slow down a bit. Okay? And then, as the RSI start going down one more time, the price will follow the RSI to go down more. So this is what we are seeing now in an uptrend. The RSI break below is a common is a common bullish trend line. Was resetting itself while the price was consolidating here. So if you think that this is a complex subject to you, just remember that in all cases, whether you want to buy and sell, okay, use multiple time frame trading method and do not violate the market pattern. So here you will see quickly, okay, I see you see the first one equal high, you sell didn't go down very much and you form again here so okay common set line is kaput you implement your top down to the middle come back to the same support level it's going to go through your mind set whether a consolidation a triangle is happening and as always you will avoid the rsi trading mistake once you acknowledge what's going on if you are concentrating on the ball itself which means the price if you are trading the price after acknowledging the RSI, you will not get into trouble. Right? You will not get into trouble at all. Because your attention is on the price, you know that, okay, it went up one, two, three, four, five. Now that this is a consolidation, keep your eyes on it. It's a triangle. Anything is possible. You can break a boom or a test. Or if you understand the area weight triangle in this case, you will see that this is an area weight triangle. One, two, three, four fine and you will be buying right here uh, at this point in time because you understand the area wave a triangle a b c d e area wave a triangle okay is this one here but if you do not know about area wave you can still trade this if you are concentrating on the price structure and the market pattern all right let me know how you find this tutorial if you have any comment or suggestion or question, put in a comment section and do course. I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. This is about how to take okay RSI indicator trading to the highest level, like a pro. When the RSI break below okay its own bullish trend line, three things are possible. Three things. All right. The prime may exhibit okay bearish chart pattern. We may see a bearish uh, trading setup. All right, that's the first thing that we can see. The prime may consolidate. All right, or the prime may continue to go up. So don't be surprised. Sometimes the RSI will break below its its uh, bullish trend line, resetting itself. But you may not even see a consolidation. The prime will just continue to go up, ignoring the RSI resetting itself. So it's not always the case that we will see a consolidation. That's what I'm saying to you. If you keep your eyes on the price, if you are trading the price itself, and you are using the top-down trading method, you will be all right. Okay? If you find this video truly, truly useful, let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you think that this is another ridiculous blah, 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 blah from George, let us know by giving us the turn down. If you think that this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. All momentum oscillators will at one point reset themselves, and the prime may not have come down or up or go up significantly. All right? Until the next time, enjoy yourself, and be very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders. 
We're talking about how to take RSI indicator trading to the highest level like pro. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.